Today I'm going to show you a couple of examples on how to use box multiplication to multiply a three digit number by a single digit number. So in our first example then we've got 238 times 7. So if we draw a rectangle out and divide the rectangle up into three boxes because we have a three digit number and we need to break up 238 into hundreds, tens and units and write this above the top of each box so we've got 200 3 tens which is 30 and 8 units and the number we're multiplying by is 7 so write this at the side so we just now need to work out 200 times 7 30 times 7 and 8 times 7 and write each answer in the three boxes so our first one then is 200 times 7. Now we can cover up the zeros to make things easier. So 2 times 7 is 14. So if we write that in the box. And since we covered up two zeros we need to add those zeros back on. So in our next box we've got 30 times 7. So again to make things easier cover up the zero and just work out 3 times 7 which is 21 and I covered up one zero so add that back on and on our final column then, final box, we've got 8 times 7 which is 56 so once you've got those three numbers then we just need to add those up so 6, 6, 6 and 1 so our final answer is 1,666. So let's look at example 2 then. So we've got 639 times 4. So again, it's a three digit number. So we need a rectangle with three spaces in, three boxes. So if we break 639 up into 100 tens and units, so we have 600s, three tens and 9 units and we're multiplying by 4 this time so again we can cover up the zeros to make things easier so what's 6 times 4 that's 24 and then add the two zeros back on in our next box we've got 30 times 4 so again just work out 3 times 4 that's 12 plus the zero and our final box we've got 9 times 4 which is 36 so finally then we just need to add these three numbers up. So that's 6, 5, 5 and 2. So our final answer is 2,556. Thanks for watching.